Look, when I see a free games on the Epic Game Store, I usually get them at the majority of farming games that I will play and rightfully review. But it was my brother who got me to play this, and not my cool streaming brother. Ta-da! Go follow him. But my cool military brother instead. The idea of this game is actually quite one that's interesting and one that majority of games don't genuinely do. This is a game that could have happened in our life. It's based off the question, what if Nazis won the World War II wars? And what if we didn't bomb Japan? In this game, you play the military soldier William Joseph B.J. Blaschewitz, not joking, who was the last to survive an evil doctor science experiments in his troop, and he's angry. So angry that with just a pistol and knife, and whatever the enemy leaves behind on their corpses, he kills a lot of people, robot doggies, and that, that have construction glaive claws as jaws, giant robot men, and robots in general that make you think you're playing a Metal Gear title, and worst of them all, average military dudes, but in latex, or laddies. More on that later. But he and his wife that he meets in a medicine home go and kill the Nazi leader with the help of some side characters that are never really given character enough for me to care. Oh, and for the story, I truly don't know. Because while playing this game, the characters don't make me care enough for me to stick around and watch the cutscenes, so I skip them. But got the basis of go kill bad guy, go save man, or go steal intel, in or go steal intel, yada yada. But the areas confused me, like when I went from escaping a prison to going to an auto water ancient dusting lab, to the moon, to going to my dreams. The story ain't much worth, but definitely it is nuts. Yep, we're already here, barely any time into the video, and yes, I apologize, this is a short video, but honestly, that's not my fault, it's just how the game is. It's a simulation of what if, but with characters on it. Speaking of the characters, the main guy won't shut up about this is the worst than blank. I'm like playing a game where I'm killing Nazis, not watching Family Guy. Then again, sometimes I think I am watching a Funniest Way to Die compilation video because the laddies, the guys I talked about earlier, who are just the level 2 bad guys, uh, uh, why else are they so common, but they see all seem like mini bosses because I'll be mowing down a corridor of enemies being shot by actual light bullets, actual bullets, and rockets and just one of these guys can get behind me and kick me twice and I'm dead. Actually, I lied, because sometimes I'll be taking bullets and rockets like a chance, but others, even if I'm at 100 armor, which is sometimes easy to get and sometimes feel like I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie uh, to play, I'll just die immediately, or sometimes live. Like on a recent stream of the game, I did, I was on a bridge level and I couldn't move forward because I never guessed the next problem. Like, I pushed forward and died to a minigun behind me, which was fine. I stay back and kill the minigun guy, then a rocket guy kills me, and then it gets so bad that the plan ends up being kill the minigun guy, snipe the hidden turret guy, rocket the minigun guy on top of the bridge to stabilize it, like bruh, how did you get there? That means you would have been there before because there's no helicopters until later in the mission. Run away and pray to god that shrapnel shot doesn't murder you and slowly for 5 minutes or more. Peek and kill laddies and pray you have health over 60 because then you'll be able to survive 4 shots. <gasps> From there, automatic machine guns, then if the game feels nice and decides not to spawn anymore, walk to the next level, or next part of the level, where you meet the third minigun guy, and of course, die. And that was one level in a total of 200 feet move. By the way, the laddies can't be sneak killed, even though most of the missions in this game give sneaking capabilities, which is sweet to see, but annoying because of the laddies. Sometimes I would literally do an entire mission of sneaking, but have to avoid or end up messing up the sneaking portion of it because the laddies and you can't sneak kill them or get them behind them but you can sneak kill the giant robot dogs which never made sense anyways I, I yeah on to the final rating of the game all in all with this being a theory if anything else and the underdeveloped characters a story that keeps moving weird having enemies hiding in corners which makes no sense and makes you more think huh Maybe this shouldn't be a game at all and more of a testing theory. And an actual decent ending. I give this a 3 out of 7. I wish this was more for a more than a 7 hour game. And as the gameplay in the background you can see this guy's like thunder gun being literally all this. And mine was just weirdly normal. 
I didn't like it because it was just, it didn't feel right. I mean, the shots were accurate enough, like, everything felt fine, it's just it didn't feel great. But yeah, that's seriously the video, it's barely even 10 minutes, I think, and it's kind of sad, but, I mean, that's what it is. It's sad. It's a sad game. That's why it gets a 3 out of 7. Now, I hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day, be polite, be efficient, and please, if you ever make a video game, make sure to get some playtesters, and if you guys ever need a playtester that is actually very critique, invite me. I will seriously critique your game, and probably make it beautiful, I will make it the best game. But for a simulation, I'll say it's pretty good, but for a simulation purpose. Have a super fantastic, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Bye bye!